Josh Bradford away this weekend, the fifth time we'll have played them this season. So they're certainly a familiar opponent for us. Yeah, fifth time. I mean, I can't think many people were able to say that they played a team five times in one season. Um, but yeah, it'll be a tough game. Um, I think, you know, we realise they, they've signed quite a few new players as well. So um, whether it will be the same team that we're used to or a new team, we don't know. So we've just got to prepare for, for whatever they throw at us, really. And, um, you know, go up there and try and get three points. And obviously, when we when we run up there in November, it was a horrible day. It was a boggy pitch, but we did manage to, to get a goal in the end. Came through your assist, and and Sam Nombe's back in the team now. So there's no reason why that can't happen again. Yeah, I know. Um, but um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, having Sam back as well, it's, um, you know, it's a huge positive for us. Um, especially going towards the end of the season, I think you know we've got such a big squad at the moment because everyone's fit and you know people are competing for places and. Um, yeah, having someone like back, uh, like Sam back in the team is um is a massive, massive bonus for us. And you know, if you look at both my goals, they both came through him as well. So I'm hoping um, you know, maybe having him back on the pitch could uh, mean I can uh, get on the score sheet again. But um, now nah, we'll see. I'll do whatever I can for the team. Really, it certainly feels like we're putting a bit of a run together, doesn't it, at the moment? I, I imagine you and the rest of the team are starting to feel a bit of a men- bit of momentum. Yeah. Um. Definitely. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously we had the 20 games at the start of the season and, um, yeah, we've obviously got the five five or six now. And, you know, I think, you know, as, as, we, as we always say, it's just taking every game as it comes at the moment. And as I just sort of pointed on then, with the squad we've got, you know, um, if you look at us, we're always, if one one crazy stat is if we're nil at half time, uh, we always, we have, a, we have a draw the game or we win the game. So, um, as long as we can sort of keep the games um, in control of the games the best we can and then it's probably testament to our bench and the amount of players we've got and um, the players that can come on and do the job as well so um, yes we've got a good squad in our hands this year I think and um, I think that helps as well going into the momentum now too and thank you very much to the BBC for bringing this stat up the only ever present in the squad this season so uh mm. I imagine, with, especially with this busy schedule coming up, are you ready for that one? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't lie to you and say I haven't got a, little, a few little niggles and things. Um, and, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can, I can manage to stick to it the whole year. Um, I was speaking to my dad this morning, actually, saying oh, I'd be good if you can try and play every game because um, I didn't realise how many games I played. But, um, yeah, no, I think I just got to look after myself and um, ensure that I'm sort of speaking to the physios and the coaches um, as much as I can. Um, and, you know, hopefully I can sustain it. We'll see. It's uh, the EFL Youth Development Week this week. And throughout the week, we've been highlighting some of our success stories. And we did a big feature piece with Jeff Diabate yesterday. Obviously, you've yeah. been in the Exeter City Academy. You've made it into the first team. It's so important for Exeter City and our academy products. You've been through that journey. It, it, you know, it's such an important pathway for our youngsters, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's massive. And I think, you know, one thing that's so good about Exeter's academy is, you know, you've got a chance. Like, if you, if you go through the academy and you get a scholarship, you know you've got a chance. Um, and, you know, you know, if you go look at other academies, the lads are sort of just there to train, but they don't really have a name. And... It gives you as a young lad a, an aim and an objective. I couldn't say the word then. An objective to um to look forward to, and um you know you know you're going to get the best coaching you can. Uh, there's not many places that will give a better coaching, especially um, the level of our academy we have. And um, yeah, it's reassuring that you're just going to be developed into the best, not player but also person you can. Um, and it's obviously testament to seeing how like people like Czech are doing now. Um, and obviously, if you look at our lineup, how many players have come through the academy, as you said. So um, it's huge. It's huge to the club and it's huge to us young lads as well. I know we've, we've got a chance. So, you know, I'd encourage all the other young lads coming through the, through the academy too to, you know, keep pushing. And, you know, you never know where you could be in the next, you know, years, next few years. Obviously, you've been in that position. Uh, check the Abate when he, when he scored against Walsall, but when he scored at the park against Leighton Orient on Tuesday night, every mm. single was over there celebrating with him. You must feel a little bit of sort of a little bit of pride because he's the next one that's come up to score a goal. Yeah, I think you can see as soon as he scores, like no one doesn't react. Um, 
And, you know, obviously I haven't scored at home yet, but it's sort of, you sort of feel the pride for him, as you said. Um, and, you know, Czech's such a good lad um, and you, you get along with him well. So, um, and he works hard. He's a, he's a very, very good professional as well. So um, he deserves everything that's coming to him at the moment. And I hope long, long, it long may continue, really. Um, but yeah, it's good that we can enjoy, you can enjoy other people's success. And I think that's what's such a good thing about this team this year is that we're all so together and we enjoy each other succeeding. Um, and that helps with the overall success of the of the club as well. So, yeah. Would you, would you say the togetherness in this squad's the best since you've, since you've been in the first team? Yeah, I, I think it is. As, as I've said before, like we've had, you know, I've, I've loved everyone that's coming in, in and out. But... Um, in terms of actually like team togetherness and gelling together, um, it's definitely been the best um, I've ever experienced. Um, so I don't know what other players would say, but you know, there's everyone's knows each other where everyone can chat with each other and have have a bit of banter together as well. So um, yeah, it's very togetherness, and, and it, again, it helps having you know a captain as well who, who's been through the academy and been through that process too, and he understands how us young lads feel. So. I give credit to MJ for that too. He's, he's, he's doing a good job. 